Hey, this is Carla from Internet Famous VIP, and I teach bloggers how to create and sell digital products such as ebooks, printables, webinars, online courses. And I'm doing a live stream from my public page at this very moment. And now I'm going to transfer or I'm going to share this uh, share this live stream with my group, Internet Famous VIP, and um, and do a live stream there. So stand by. <laughs> it's a beautiful day where I am. It's snowy day. And um, it's snowing in a lot of places, isn't it? Um, I'm in upstate New York, and I'll maybe give you a little shot of that soon. But, um, oh, here we go. Uh, but it's, it's snowing. It's snowing everywhere, it seems. So let's see. I'm going to share this Internet Famous VIP live stream video with my group. My group. My group, where are they? Do, 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 share on a page, share in a group. Okay, group name, Internet Famous, VIP. Dun, 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 uh, Tips, yeah, I'm going to give it a name. So this is going to be tips, um, tips to going pro with your blog. Yeah, tips. To going pro with your blog. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, and this says this was successfully shared with my group. So now we're going to see if that's really true. Dun -da -dun -da -da. Dun -da -dun -da -dun -dun so let's see. Okay, is live now. Beautiful. Okay. So hi, this is Carla from Internet Famous VIP, and I teach bloggers how to create and sell online products, such as eBooks, online courses, printables, um, all kinds of things. So um, t we are doing our live stream challenge this December, this December 2017. And, um, and today's topic, for live streaming is tips. Like, give us some tips. I said three to five tips. And I've been thinking all day, well, what tips am I going to share? I, I couldn't think of anything. And then I remembered I did that, that webinar um, a few weeks ago for Small Business Saturday. I believe that was November 25th. And I had seven tips for how to go pro with your blog. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give some highlights of that of that webinar and um, you know and if you want to see more of that that webinar I'll give you the link later and you can check out the whole webinar so um, before I get started um, I want to give a little snow shot because we've been doing that so much lately because it's snowing so this is like the view out the window you can see all the snow and the trees in the back of the house and um, you know it's it's beautiful it's a winter wonderland this is the first snow of the season and um it's a really wonderful time and um you know it's not dirty you know um and for some people in the south you know in the united states it's some of them seeing snow for the first time ever i just heard that even florida some parts of florida um is, is seeing snow so let's see georgia florida north carolina south carolina texas louisiana those are just places that I know of people that that have snow in their area and that's so crazy but here it is I live in New York um, I live during the week New York uh, New York City but um, on the weekends I'm, I'm, I'm up upstate and um, I was just amazed that it snowed in the south before New York but that's life it's just weird anyway today's tips I'm going to do those let's see I have like three tips that I'll share really quickly if anyone has any questions, post them. I think I have my tablet handy. So um, let me just refresh this real quick, like, so that, that way, if anyone does want to post a question, I will be able to catch it um, in real time. But if I happen to miss it, I will definitely, you know, put a link to it later. So let's see. Okay. All right. So here we go. My tips, my, my highlights of how to go pro. So if you're a blogger and you are looking to make some kind of income with your blog, there's certain things that 
that you can actually do. I mean, if, if you aren't using ads and you're doing organic methods such as um, hopefully, you know, use, working with someone like um, Robin and Leslie at Pajama Affiliates and they teach you how to do really cool things. Um, but you don't have to go it alone if you're, if you're just like struggling with how do I make money with my blog? How do I do this? You don't have to do it by by yourself, and I really don't think you should because you want to find out from people who've actually done it, who have, you know, ha who have, um, who have things to teach you. So for so one of my number one my number one tip in how to go pro with your blog is to how to write blog posts. Well, you you write blog posts that convert into sales. So number one tip: write blog posts that convert into sales. And in order to do that, you have to have a plan. That means you have to pick the right niche. You have to use the right keywords. You need to know how to write the right blog so that your blog can rank in Google. And there's just all these different things. And Pajama Affiliates, actually, they're really great at that. You can reach them at internetfamousvip.com slash pajamas. That's just one easy way. So write blog posts that convert. So that means learning how to write blog posts that convert into sales and make you money. Okay, number two. Number two tip to going pro with your blog is to keep regular office hours in your niche. Um, there's a lot to be said about automation when you're having an online business, but there is nothing that is ever going to take the place of human interaction. People want to feel you. They want to know that you, that you care. And if this is someone that, that might be thinking about purchasing from you or working with you or you know hiring you as a coach or, or hiring you you know any kind of work like that um you want to be seen you want to see you want to see what's going on but you want to be seen you want to be seen as a valuable member of an online community so you cannot automate your presence it just can't be done and people can feel it when you have a, a, say you have a Facebook group and you have posts that are you have content, really great articles, I'm sure, but all you do is program them to post a few times a day or a few times a week. If you yourself don't make any kind of engagement, um, it's 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 going to flop because people can feel that you aren't there and people want you there. And I'm talking about a group. A group is about engagement. So. You want to have, if you do have a group, if you're at that place where you have a, a Facebook group and you are interacting with the people in your community, that is great. But you also want to stay, you also want to visit other, you know, other watering holes online of the people in your niche and see what people are talking about. And you want to see what are their problems. And it's not just about uh, listening to them so you can you know, show how smart you are or sell them anything. It's about making a connection and giving them value without, you know, without uh, asking for something in return. So there's just a lot of value to be given by keeping yourself, you know, seen in your niche. Um, Robin Cockrell, I know I mentioned pajama affiliates a lot, but they, they, they're just really awesome. Uh, she, so, so there's, there's a man that she's been uh, listening to a lot, Kyle Cease, and he said something that she quoted that really stuck with me. It said, you have to show up and you have to stay inside the room. But you have to go to the room. Oh, I might be messing this up. But the thing is, you have to show up and you have to stay. You're like, meaning you can't just go and leave. The thing about the online world, it's you can't just put some, you can't just plant a seed and, and just think it's, and, and leave it and abandon it for a month and think that something is going to happen. Hey, Thea, how are you? So good to see you. Yay. Um, oh, Thea. Oh, my goodness. Thea is awesome. By the way, if anyone is looking for a virtual assistant, Thea Johnson Swafford, she is my fairy godmother. Her superpower is love. And um, uh, oh, my goodness. Um, I think I have a, Thea, do you have a, um, could you, could you post your, 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 your URL, so if someone wants to work with you or like what information is best, because I would really love for, for people to know who you are and if they need you to you know, be able to you know, give you some work. So um, definitely let people know how they can find you. Um, let's see, uh, keeping off for a regular office hours in your niche. So yes, you cannot, uh, you cannot automate your presence. So you gotta show up, you gotta take some time, a few hours every week, show up to your niche, and oh, 
thank you for sharing me, Thea. Yay. Thank you so much. I love you too. See, I told you love is her superpower. That is Thea Johnson Swafford. So yeah, so so Thea, um, if you can give me give us an email address or um uh, or a website where people can reach you. So people looking for virtual assistant uh, services, if you need someone to do content, ah, clearperception.info. Yes, so that is where you would be able to um, to to see her site and, and, and hire her because she's really awesome. So um, keeping regular office hours, like for example, just Thea just showing up. She's showing up. It's a Sunday afternoon, you know, and it's snowy, and I think she's in, I think you're in Florida. It might not be snowing where you are, but, um, you know, some of us might be wanting to do something else, but here we are, you know, we're, we're tuning in to Facebook or online and, and seeing what our people are up to. And if they need us, here we are. So let's see, um, I think you get the point of that one. So, and so number three, my third tip is keep track of your stats. Something I started doing this year, and I really feel like it has made a difference, is keeping, keeping track of my statistics, keeping track of, um, Message me. On, oh, that's right. You can message Thea on on Facebook, and she'll take care of it. She's so good. She's so good. Thank you, Thea. Um, so one thing I started doing this year was keeping track of of things, like just in, and not in a in a uh, not in a really anal judgmental way, but just sort of observing. Because like in my group, for example, I'm not doing any Facebook ads or doing any real crazy things to get people to join my group. And I'm doing that on purpose because I really want it to be organic and I really want to hear what people are talking about. And, you know, I get some kind of crazy requests from time to time from people who aren't bloggers. They just, they see the word famous in the name and then they want to join, but they really aren't, you know, really people who would be able to, to really uh, give value or even benefit from our group. So I, I keep the group the size it is right now on purpose because I really want to hear what people are talking about. And again, that's also me keeping office hours. But anyway, keeping track of my stats. So things like how many people are in my group, you know, so I check my numbers every week. And sometimes I lose people, you know, and, and, and that's, it, it happens. But then sometimes I get a whole bunch of new people. Sometimes people come back and, you know, I don't have any judgment of people coming and going. I it just, it's a number for me to, to see where I am and where I want to be. And um, there's a, a woman, she's like a mindset mentor. Her name is Denise Duffield Thomas. And she says this thing, she said, that which can be measured can be improved. And the thing about that is if you know what your numbers are and you know that you want to improve them, you can do an easy cause and effect. You can say, okay, I did this, therefore I got more numbers or, you know, more people watch my video. And, and those kind of things are important. Um, because, because maybe when it comes to it, maybe say you, you have email newsletters, for example, are you checking your numbers? Things like how many times people open, you know, or how many, um, how many people are, are, are not opening them or how old, you know, is your list? Like you have to keep track of things. You can't just do things and not pay attention to what's going on. So keep track of everything that you could track can be tracked, you know, whether it's your, your email list, your Facebook group, also things like your expenses, how much money you're, are you spending every month, every week? Like what are you spending your money on and how much sales are you getting? Like, are you, if you're, whether you're doing affiliate marketing, affiliate blogging, or, uh, or, or doing digital products, are you, are you making any money? You want to know if if what you're doing is resonating with people. Are you getting traffic? Are you at least building in a really slow manner? It's not about it's not about chasing traffic, but it's about adding value. And just seeing your numbers at least gives gives you an idea where you are. Um, and, and, and that's basically it, keeping track of your stats. And I do that every week. And, you know, I'm, it's, and it doesn't matter, you know, how, how, how big your numbers are or, or they are not. You might only have 10 people on your list. So what? You might only have one person on your list, and that one person could be your mom or your best friend. It doesn't matter. A year from now, two years from now, five years from now, that number is going to grow. So also being able to look at, this is where you were versus where you're going or where you are now. That can also be really helpful to give you a sense of, oh, okay, I know that that I might not be where I want to be. You can also say, well, I know I'm not where I was. You know, I, I know that I've definitely had some some struggles. You know, like everyone has, and I feel like, wow, okay, I'm finally 
things things are lining up for me. You know, I'm I'm making more money. I'm getting more people to visit my page, like all of that. But if I wasn't paying attention, I might just focus on, oh my God, this isn't happening for me. A lot of stuff is happening for you, but you might not be looking at that. So that's another thing to pay attention to see where you're growing, what things are working for you. So speaking of that, um, this I'm going to do the online success challenge again at the end of this year. It starts December 26th, goes through January 4th. It's a 10 day challenge. It's free. And the whole idea is that we use these 10 days to review our 10, 2017 and plan for a successful and profitable 2018. So I'm really excited. We've done it, you know, we've done it once before and now I have a better idea of, and, you know, after this whole year with you, um, I have a better idea of what it is that you want because I, I, I'm doing my best to listen. I really want to give you what you want. So that's, I'm, I'm excited about doing this challenge with you. So, um, okay, so I have one more, one more tip and, and I'm done. And uh, so the other tip, for going pro with your blog is to create a digital product. If you're already, if you already have a successful blog, you have the traffic that you want, people know about it, you're promoting it, and you're doing all of, you know, affiliate blogging, that's great. But what's wrong with adding, well, not to say that anything is wrong, but why not consider creating an additional digital product that can be sold 24 seven without you having to be involved. So whether it's like a planner printable or an ebook or an online course, you can create something that is an extension of the blog that you are already creating. And the thing about creating a digital product is that, thank you, Thea, thank you, great points, thank you. And the thing is, if you're, you're, you're already blogging, so it's, it's, it's just an, 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 oh, now I remember what I was gonna say, that, from depending on how you're like which platform that you're using, if you're if you're selling something that people can purchase with PayPal, you can get paid that same day. You know, for some people, that is a really big deal. I have like a PayPal debit card myself, so it's kind of nice that if I if if I you know when someone purchases something, I have a debit card from the sales that people you know make, and that's really kind of cool. So, um, but just being able to get paid the same day. You know, what about when you wake up in the morning and you check your mailbox and then there's like a mail, there's an email from PayPal saying, you've got money. That is the greatest feeling. And all you had to do is create that ebook once. It's, it might be a pain in the butt to sit down and write that book, but once you're done, you're done. And then you just promote it on your blog that you're already writing in, that you're already you know, creating new content in. So definitely create a, a digital product. That would be a great way to go pro. Okay, so this isn't the whole webinar that I went over the other night, just my highlights, but I'm just gonna summarize really quickly and then let you all go back to the rest of your day. So to summarize my tips on how to go pro with your blog, these are my tips. Number one, write blog posts that convert. Check out the pajama affiliates if you need that. Um, two, keep regular hours Keep regular office hours in your niche, meaning see and be seen. Let people know who you are and what you do. Number three, keep track of your statistics. Find out, you know, really pay attention to, you know, the numbers of followers. Maybe you need to do less of something because something isn't working for you. Pay attention by, ch by checking your, your statistics. What's working for you? What's not working for you? Statistics will definitely help you. Check, checking, tracking. Checking and tracking, um, those statistics help you know where you are. And the bonus tip, create a digital product. That is another source of income that you can have on your blog. So if you wanna go pro with your blog, those are my tips for today. I hope everyone has had a wonderful weekend and I hope you stay warm. And um, yeah, that everyone's good and getting stuff done and getting ready for the holidays. Bye. <laughs>